first of all, introduce yourself and your role at Trundley. So I'm Ian Trundley, I'm the Managing Director of both Trundley Design and Trundley Properties Limited. Okay, I'm Catherine Trundley, I'm the Financial Director, been in the business now for 24 years, so not quite 30. So I'm Ben Trundley, I'm the lead of the Construction Division and I've been doing it for six and a half years. Okay, I'm Jack Trundley and I'm Head of Estimating and Financial Analysis. Who are Trundley? So Trundley were originally born as designers, so we're originally design practice, architectural practice. That was what my father did in a previous uh, company. So him and myself set the business up around about 1992. We started together, but yeah, we were basically an architectural practice and that's how we started. We're an architectural design practice and a construction company. We can design a house for you and build it for you. I joined the business um, in 1998, much smaller than we are today. Um, my input was very much half a day, a day a week, which enabled me to bring the boys up um, while Ian was working incredibly hard. Tell us about the start of the business and how was it working with your father? It was brilliant. No, it was good. <laughs> no, it was, as with most, if anybody's worked in a family business, they'll know what I'm saying. There's really, really positive things and there's sometimes some challenges, and I think, but overarching, it's a really good thing. You know, we always got on really well from a business perspective, and, and I'm hugely indebted to him to what he taught me. And how has the business evolved from what it used to be to what it is now? Well, as uh, yeah, some revolution, or evolution, I suppose you'd say. So 30 years we've been going now. I mean, for the, probably the first 10 years, we were pretty much a standard architectural practice, working on residential projects and commercial projects. And really, since we moved to our current premises, where we currently are, we've sort of really seen a big growth because we've been able to invest in people and, and we've been very lucky that we've actually grown with a lot of our customers as well. How did you come about joining the business? Well, I finished school. I did two harvests on a local farm. And as much as I loved it, I thought that's probably not a long-term career for me. And uh, yeah, at the time, the construction division of the business, which was set up in 2015, two years before I joined, that was sort of picking up. And Dad said, "Do you fancy coming to give me a hand for a couple of days?" And um, here I am now. So I've been at uni for two years. So and now I just thought, kind of wanted to grow the family name kind of thing. There wasn't really an aspect of any job that I really wanted to go into. It wasn't really a fallback kind of thing, but it was more of wanting to grow this and then started on it, really enjoyed it. Worked a lot last summer before I went back for my second year and probably did like eight weeks then, really enjoyed it, so kind of just went back in. Is construction something you've always been interested in? Yeah, always been interested in it. Um, I've helped Dad ever since I can remember. When we built our home that we live in now, I was about 10 to 11 and I was helping on the site, loading out bricks and things like that. So. It was always an industry that was of interest to me and big boys toys and diggers and things like that and that was, I suppose you'd say, a good in and uh, ever since then yeah, I've just developed from there. Really. Has anything really stood out to you, like working weekends in the business or anything like that? Oh, the first one I did was uh, we set out a garage for one of our family friends and I ruined my lovely Ferrari trains. But that was the first one I did with Dad, yeah, and then just loads a little bit since. Good question. Every day stand out, really. I mean, we work for amazing clients. We get to work on such amazing projects. I don't think I could pick one singular project or event, really, that I would say is stand out. I'd just say, you know, day to day is really. How has it been to see the team grow? We've been really, really lucky to have some really good people come and work with us, and we've managed to also invest into those guys as well. And I think those guys have now got relationships with our clients. Yeah, it's really good, it's, but it comes back to this family ethos as well, that we are actually trying to build a family business and hopefully all those guys feel part of the family as well. If you don't mind me saying, you seem with the team that you also play a motherly role, I would say, in a very nice way, I mean. How is that? How has that come about? How do you, how do you feel towards the team members? How do, you, how do you bring that personability that you have through in your work life and how important do you think it is? They're all really important to me. They are my work children. Um, I, you know, I'd always hope that if they've, they've got a problem, anything going on, that they feel they could come to me. I'll do my utmost to help them out. We're at work a long time, aren't we? We're here so many hours a day. They need to feel happy, they need to feel safe, they need to feel secure. 
and if I can make them feel that way then that's that's my role. I'm a mum first and foremost above a financial director so that's that's my desired role in life. What does Trundley mean to you? Oh, it means a lot really. I suppose you'd say it's my, uh, it's my life and it means a lot more to me than, than my surname, you know. We provide here for approximately 50 families so that it means a lot to us as a business. It's not just our one family, it's 49 others that we have to make sure we've got enough projects for, we've got the right type of projects for our team and we deliver them to the right standard to make sure that everyone stays within their job. That's a good question, Mark. Well, well, that's my family, isn't it? That's the thing. That's probably the number one thing. And it's work, it's way of living, I think. Because we've lived in this house for over half my life, it's kind of just been my life. Because we've, I've lived next to the office where we worked, and now having the yard next door, it's kind of just the done thing now. So I'd just say it's family and life. It's our lifestyle, really, isn't it? We're, we're here 24-7, really. We live and breathe it. Um, that's the way it is but we wouldn't have it any other way. If anybody needs us, we're here and we enjoy our work. I suppose to us, it's our, it's been our lot, I've been mine and Catherine's life for the last 30 years, because without Catherine, I wouldn't be able to be doing what I'm doing. She's been the one that's been supportive through all these years. Uh, it's very difficult to put it into words what it means to you, because it, it means a lot. It really does mean a lot. And uh, to see, as I said before, to see people positively engaged, smiles on their faces, that's enough for me, you know, that's enough for me.